we will explain the history of power supplies, starting with the basics of switching power supplies. At the end of the 19th century, Thomas Edison transmitted electricity to illuminate an electric light bulb using direct current, DC. The efficiency of DC transmission, however, was very poor because of high energy loss. So the alternating current, AC, transmission, invented by Nikola Tesla, took the place of direct current electric power transmission. In the case of AC transmission, the voltage can be easily boosted or stepped down using a transformer, and electrical energy can be distributed long distances. A device to convert alternating current to direct current became necessary because the vacuum tube and radio receiver that were invented in the same era require DC power. Today AC transmission are used worldwide, although the voltage and frequency vary in each country. Frequency, 50 Hz or 60 Hz. Voltage, 100 volts to 240 volts. This diagram is an example of primitive AC-DC power supply. The AC-DC power converter in the early days was as shown here. Because the device handles AC power at the commercial frequency, the transformer for stepping down the voltage and the smoothing capacitor were very heavy and bulky components. We will explain how this circuit functions. Commercial AC power is supplied to the circuit on the left side of this diagram. The transformer in the center of this diagram steps down the voltage of the input AC power to the level appropriate for use by the each devices. The alternating current with reduced voltage is then converted into direct current by the smoothing capacitor. Because only the transformer reduces the voltage, the resultant DC voltage may fluctuate depending on the load connected to the output. This circuit diagram is an example of the power supply used today. Because recent equipment requires a high accuracy power supply providing stable voltage, the switching power circuit is principally used. A typical example of such a power supply is the self-excited RCC, ringing choke converter, shown here. In this circuit, the DC voltage obtained by rectifying the AC voltage is converted into high frequency, a few tens of kilohertz, rectangular waves, which is stepped down to the desired voltage by the transformer and rectify it again. We will explain how this circuit works. AC power is supplied from the left side of this circuit diagram in the same way as a primitive circuit. Common mode noise is removed by the EMI filter and the AC voltage is converted into DC voltage by the bridge rectifier and smoothing capacitor. Then, the resultant voltage is converted into high-frequency rectangular pulse waves by high-speed switching of the MOSFET Q1 at a few tens of kilohertz. The pulse wave is then supplied to the high-frequency transformer, and the output on the secondary side is smoothed by the diode and smoothing capacitor, and the resultant DC power is supplied to the load device. This chart is a comparison between the primitive AC-DC power circuits and the AC-DC power circuits of today. Current switching power supply circuit has advantages, such as small size of transformer and capacitor, stable output, and high efficiency. This concludes the explanation of the history of the DC power supply.